Hello, my name is Ben, and I'm happy, and I'm back with another reaction. This time is Marina. Technically, this class is Marina and the Diamonds, but I think I'm just going to title the video Marina because that's what she's going by now. Her album Fruit, you have all told me I need to keep reacting to her, so let's jump onto it. I'm super excited. The cover looks super colorful. It looks like we're in for a fun time, so you absolutely know that I need some Red Bull in me. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get straight into it. The first song is called Happy. Let's go. Relax. start the album oh my god it sounds so awesome I know this is from 2014 but it definitely feels like she was on this process to really becoming the artist that she is today really coming into herself and just realizing that yeah she is happy on her own and she would you know really like someone I really like that that sounded beautiful what a way to open the album not how I expect it to open at all but such a beautiful really melodic song to listen to whoa I'm so keen for this era of fruits the next song is the title track it's called fruit it's got a star Let's go. Oh. five and a half minutes I did not expect the title track to be that long and it did not feel like that that was such a summer jam you just got so stuck into the melody loved the metaphors of the fruit that was sick oh I really want to listen to that song again and again and I definitely want a remix of that because I reckon that would go off for sure the next song is called I'm a ruin it's got a star let's go oh it sounds good already Oh my god. 
album is definitely what I would class as like happy sad because the songs you just want to jam to but the lyrics are really really sad and really meaningful and there's so many in one song uh, I mean it's very self-explanatory she wants to move on she doesn't want to hurt this guy yeah super sad but that vibe was just like do -do 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 -do. you just like, like I said you just want to jam to it so it's actually quite hard because I'm like am I meant to like really love this or like am I meant to be deeper for it interesting it's definitely so different to her latest album it's kind of got those elements it's just almost like softer in its delivery whereas I feel the ancient dreams in a modern land is so in your face she's like nah I'm here I'm like boom 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 this one is very like I don't know just a bit more subdued maybe the next song is called blue it's got a star let's go just cannot vibe. I love the chorus, the pre-chorus, that build up. So good. I don't know what she wants, Marina. I don't know if she knows what she wants. She wants him. She doesn't. She wants a man. She wants someone else. She's sick of him. Who knows? I loved it. The next song is called Forget. Let's go. Let's go. on the album that was incredible the voice the melody the lyrics like I said there's so many these songs are all quite long which is just amazing how much is going into it she's written everything so far that song alone like I've always like the dancing with the devil getting into heaven paying a million bucks oh my god that was just the sound of that was hypnotizing and, and that will be the song I plan and repeat for the rest of my life and it didn't have a star it's like what is wrong like seriously how is that was way better than all of the four we've just had like that was pinnacle of the album so far the next song is number six favorite number although I don't know when number five comes in with that number six has a tough time coming over it it is called gold let's go <laughs> Okay, 
Number six didn't bring it to us. That was quite just a chill. I didn't really get too much into it. The lyric, I don't know. I don't know if I really vibe with the lyrics. Yeah, probably like, I don't know, just my least favorite on the album so far, which is fine because it's still, again, it's just quite chill. And that was just one that I guess didn't have elements that the other songs did. The next song is called Can't Pin Me Down. It's got an explicit. Let's go. <laughs> You can't pay me any color Second absolute favorite on the album, Forget and Can't Pin Me Down. They are absolute bangers. They're just, oh, the melody just absolutely hooks you in. Love the lyrics behind that. You know, you can't put her in a box, you can't pin her down, you can't do whatever you want. She is who she is. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh my god, that sounded so good. That just like filled my soul. The next song is called Solitaire. Let's go. such an awesome way to use the word oh my god her not being compared to anything it's really interesting because it kind of like that cheap glitter and stuff is that a reference to her diamonds i'm really interested to know why she got rid of and the diamonds so if you know let me know i love that song oh my god that was stunning beautiful that was like so awesome oh my god the next song is called better than that let's go <laughs>
getting quite deep and I'm like, was it about someone she knew that just was not a great friend and she just did all this really bad stuff to herself? The production, the vibe, the whole sound of it just really overtook and I kind of got lost with, from the lyrics until like towards the end. Yeah, that was a really interesting song. That was an amazing song, actually, not just an interesting song. That was such a cool song to listen to and just really vibe. Yeah, loved it. The next song is called Weeds. Let's go. <laughs> This is a really sad one. such a sick song. Definitely I'm getting so lost in the production. I feel like I'm just in such a trance with this album. I think because every song is longer than a normal kind of pop song album. It just is so enchanting and she can just do so much with the music. I love that. That, yeah. Wow. I don't even know what the hell it's about. <laughs> I just love it. So good. The next song is called Savages. Super keen for this. The title sounds epic. Let's go. Oh, the production is amazing on this album. Here we go. Murder the lips forever and so does war. Oh my it's God. a bubble of the fittest rich against the poor. Oh. At the end of the inside of our deep every day. One day <laughs> Another day, another tale of rape. Oh my god. Another ticking bomb to bury deep and detonate. Oh my god. These are the lyrics that she's just so good at. This definitely could go on the latest album. And obviously she just have to revamp it. But these lyrics are what I live for for her. I'm like, it's covered in goosebumps. I need to go back to that. I'm dead. Like, this has killed me. This song is absolutely the best on the album. Sorry to all the other songs that have said that too. Another day, another day of rape. Another ticking bomb to bury she's so written this entire album and that song specifically is just insane. I just have a lyrical bit of it. 
Her lyric writing, her storytelling is absolutely amazing. That political song is just, she's just so good at it. She, the way she puts it with the music and the production and just her message is just so hard hitting. So accurate. Oh my God, that could definitely go on the album that she's just released. I can't believe how she was doing this stuff back then and she's still doing it now. And it just sounds so good and it's just so relevant. Still now. I mean, of course it is. It's just insane. Wow, that song absolutely killed me. I just could not contain. Wrote the last song called Immortal. Let's wrap this album up. I am scared what this is gonna be like if we've just had savages. <laughs> Let's go. track to end the album oh my god i could just the amount of images that just came through my head with that song it was just like a disaster movie like this final ending movies with the fire burning the sea freezing well like if she could find a way to live forever she'd buy twice oh so good what an amazing album only really one lol which was gold the first like four songs were all almost like their own kind of four together then you went from like forget skipping gold and then the rest were all just solid back-to-back -back bangers i can't believe every song was like four to five minutes insane what an album it was the last album as marina and the diamonds so it's, yeah i'd be really interested to see why that transitioned and things like that because it sounds still quite relevant to what she's singing about now it just it does sound very different almost like a bit lighter in terms of production wise which is insane because the production was amazing yeah wow i'm just really trying to process everything that i've just listened to <laughs> What did you guys think? What's your favorite song? Let me know any info about fruit and if there's anything else I need to know, you know? Hit subscribe, hit like, hit me up on Instagram at gripping all that jazz. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm gonna have a great day wherever I am. Ben is gonna go.